Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to a, another Roots 24 video. This is some more Destiny Connect. So if you missed the last part, you'll find a link in the description. Go ahead and check that out. If you need to catch up, we're rolling right along. We are looking for some parts, I guess, to make another part to put into Isaac so we can travel back in time. Kind of complicated, but <laughs> I guess not so much. So Peguio, he, I guess he's tired from something. What's yep. he saying here? Uh, ha, huh, ha. Huh. Hey, Sherry. Uh, let's take a break here. Now you, you are saying you want to take a break in this pile of garbage? <laughs> are you serious? Um, I don't know. It's like, oh, I mean, when you put it like that, when you say that. Hey, Peglio. Do you really think we can travel back in time? Like, do you really think, do you really think we can time travel? I don't know. I mean, if you think about it seems totally impossible, but the professor was saying we can do it. Uh, I'm thirsty. Oh, that sounds kind of bad. Oh, hey what there. What the fuck? I'm not sure what that is. Is that a vending machine? I think it's several vending machines. Yeah, because he... I feel like... He said he's thirsty for some sort of reason. Okay, anyway, so Sherry's like, hey, something came, something's here. It's pretty big, what is this? Yeah, I think it's multiple vending machines just like put together, like Voltron style. Yeah. Um, so he's saying like... Mm -hmm. Like, do you want something hot or something cold? Which is like... Probably people back home don't know, but in Japan, in the vending machines, you can get cold drinks and hot drinks. Yeah, you can actually, yeah, you can get a hot drink in the vending machine. Which I thought was amazing, and Pretty I cool. buy that shit all the time in the winter. Alright, so Peglio is like... He li I want something cold, <laughs> is basically what he's gonna say. Like, what are you doing just answering him? Are you stupid? I really want him to drink one of the drinks after we defeat the robot. Um, so he says... Uh... Okay, so the boy who gave me an answer, like, you are my customer? Okay, that sounds like it's probably a bad thing then. Uh, my name is... Sabending. Sir... Sir Vending, maybe? Sir Bending. Yeah. I think. Well, probably Vending for vending machine. Unless he's bending, as in he's bending. Oh, I, I don't know why I was thinking of Bender, like, from Futurama. Okay, yeah, he's probably <laughs> served bending. Um, <laughs> I've locked on to my customer, and I will, like, multinashi, so I'm going to, like, serve Provide them. good yeah, I'm service. Gonna, I'm going to serve the hell out of you. Okay, what? <laughs> um, please enjoy my juice laser. laser? How can juice be a laser? I don't know. I have so many questions. Holy shit, his arms are terrifying. I hope I have healed up enough, because this seems like a boss fight. I just hit Peglio right in the face, that almost killed him. Might need to heal him. Sherry, we need your aid to Peglio. I like how she just turns and just magically heals him. And then it heals, heals him, him. yeah. She'd like, be a... everything else seems so realistic in this game, but then... She just turns around and heals. More realistic than a duck flying out of his backpack? Less. Definitely less. He could have, like, you know, made some sort of spring mechanism Are you, put in the yeah, bottom of his bag. I mean, he could have, yeah. Um, okay, let's try Cheat Shot. Actually, let me check. Okay, it's all good. So he's not, like, resisting or anything. So I think the game plan uh, for this boss fight is to, I just, I guess, just heal and attack. Oh, is he just gonna keep attacking Peglio? That would suck. I think that's what he's doing, because he's the customer, right? Maybe. So he's identified his his target here. Um, we can try Cabal, if you want to try that. We could, but I think, I don't know. Protect, I guess, maybe. They might call that when this game comes out in English. Right, or guard, or... Guard, yeah. protect, maybe. Are you gonna play this game in English or no? Probably not, because we've already oh, we're playing played it right it. now, yeah. yeah. Whoa, that looks very. Oh, resist. Okay, we're all good. Thank God for that. Yeah. 
He still needs to be healed, though, because he only has 89 left and just took 90 damage. Yeah, I will probably heal him. Let's try Panic Bomb. I don't know if it'll do anything. Well, I think that's better when there are multiple enemies. Yeah, because it's... Uh... Oh, Ooh. if Isaac dies, we, like, game over, so... Yeah, heal the shit out of him. Oh, he's not Oh, he's... <laughs> he's so cute. Just... Oh, it's okay. He's fine. A couple times, like, I've... So I've been playing, like you know, whatever games on the channel. And then later they come out in English, right? Mm -hmm. I'll see it on Steam. I'll see it, like, on a shelf when I go back home to visit. Right. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember that game. I, like, you know, like, maybe I want to play it again in English. And then and then I'm like, uh... But you've already played it. It's kind of like, do you want to play it again? Or just yeah. enjoy another new game? That's kind of why I do prefer playing... Or not playing. I, why I prefer getting PC versions of games, because often... You can switch the language between English and Japanese. Mm -hmm. If I want to play a game in English, I can just kind of switch the language. If I want to play in Japanese, I can switch it. Right. Which is good. Some console games will let you switch the language by switching your console language, but not Oh, all. yeah. A lot of Switch games, I think, do that. Yeah. I need to build up some SP because we're out of it. Yeah. On. See, he's always locking on to Peglio. That's true. And he's like the weak one, so. 96. I think I'll, yeah, I'll top him up. He might be okay, but better safe than sorry. Uh oh. Oh, because I didn't use cover. Oh! oh my god. 7 HP. Kay. Lucky 7. Yeah, let me heal him. I don't know if I want, like, Isaac... Oh, no, I'll use cover with Isaac, because Isaac resists electricity. Yeah. And I'll just top him. And he's up. got yeah. a lot of HP, too. So, that's smart. All right, let me just do that. Like, I don't know. Well, you might not have to do it this time, because I yeah, think he has Yeah, because he hasn't lock locked on, on first. first. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Oh, we can also use Dinky um, Electric Barrier. Ooh. Let's see how effective that is. That wasn't electricity, but yeah. Mm. Um, how much SP? Okay, we can use bag attack again. Bomb. Good one. I hope they have a better name for bag attack when it comes out in English. Yeah, I wonder what they'll call it. I don't know. Yeah, what would Backpack you... Backpack attack? I mean, back... Sounds better than bag attack. Backpack attack? Yeah. That's kind of... It rhymes, right? It's yeah. kind of catchy. Yeah. Do I have, I have SP, I can do bag attack again. Rubber duck, not... Oh, nice! Oh, the rubber duck, the duck took duck him out! killed him, yeah. Good job, Tabuyo. He looks so proud of himself. Yeah, the fact that he took down a giant vending machine robot with a rubber duck. Um, wow, looks like we... We did it. Ah, oh, I thought we were gonna die. You idiot. Uh, this is all because you, like, gave him an answer. I'm sorry. I really was thirsty. I couldn't help it. Um. <laughs> I mean, what am, what am I trying to say? I couldn't believe, like, that. Like a big thing like that. Huge thing just, just, like, came out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, like, she's like, oh, I'm sorry, she's like, uh, like, oh, that's weird for you to say, or like, that's weird coming from yeah, you, yeah, coming from you, yeah, yeah. Well, rather than that, take a look, uh, oh, the you know, dude that we took down, the dude, the robot thing, uh, those parts. We can use those, can't we? Oh, so we're gonna harvest the parts from that robot? What this about is like the drinks though. This is like some Monster Hunter level stuff. Okay. You played Monster Hunter. <laughs> I have, no, I was just reacting to the image of the, the, the part. thing, the parts that we took from yeah. the, the robot. I was like, it doesn't look like something the that would, robot. <laughs> or something that would come from that vending machine. Right. Uh yeah. Uh this looks pretty good. Well, I think this looks pretty good. Okay, um, let's take this and head back to the professor.
you got. What if we just took time back machine parts? This one part, and then yeah, and he just like this isn't it, you idiot. He made <laughs> yeah. No, what if he just made a time machine out of the parts from the vending machine? I mean, I presume that's actually what's gonna happen. Is it really? Yeah. That's sad. Are you telling me the secret to building a time machine? Is a vending machine, yeah. Is with vending machine. So basically, Japan is pretty set. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> so many vending machines there. It's true. I'm kind of glazing over the t this uh, tutorial right now, but it's basically just saying, like, we can level up um, Our skills? some skills, I guess, mm -hmm. using, like, skill strengthening part. Not it's hard parts. It says, like, I don't want to say medicine, but, like, some kind of agent, I guess, mm -hmm. to strengthen skills. Um, They'd probably call it, like, just, like, a potion or something in English. We can check that out. So we just go to skills here and bring up our skills. Uh, let's strengthen Heat Shot, I think, because we use it so frequently. Sure. Wow, I don't know. We have a bunch of things. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So, like, this one will be, like, small effect, medium effect, and a large effect. Oh, I see. That's the difference. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, I guess that makes sense. That's kind of cool. Try one of these. Whoa. That one was a lot more effective. Wow, uh, that took it up to three already. Oh, I don't think we can level up Isaac's skill. We need, like, gears for him. Mm -hmm. Or no, can we? Yeah, we can. We can, we can do it. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, Iron Smash is cool. And then we'll level up um, Peglio's, like, bag bomb. Yeah. Or not bag bomb. Bag attack. Bag attack, yeah. Cool. All right. I wonder if there's anything around here, so this is the pile of junk that the professor was referring to. Maybe around here? No? Usually items are marked on the map, you can actually just see them. Oh. Look at the fireworks. Oh yeah, cool. Just completely They're frozen, frozen in, time. in time. And then the, the moon with this cool volumetric lighting effect. Yeah, that looks quite nice. What a romantic dumpster. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's test out our, uh, our leveled up heat shot and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were already one-shotting these guys, so I presume we're just gonna extra one-shot them. Yeah. One-shot them so hard. Do your thing, Peglio. Holy shit, you got a critical too. Yeah, it is absolutely pancake that television. Uh, but yeah, I do have a feeling that all we need is that one part, and the press the professor will be like, "Oh, here, here's your time machine." Oh, so stupid. But I guess with how fast this story is going, it's yeah, it's moving so fast. I still think it'd be funny if you like we took it back, and he's just like, "What are you kids doing?" <laughs> like, <laughs> like I said, get time machine parts, you idiot. Yeah, like, not just, vending machine. Yeah. I'm a little bit sad that Peg Leo never got his drink though. Oh, uh, maybe the professor will give him some tea. I don't know. Oh, but he wanted something cold, so. Yeah, you can have iced cold tea. Cold tea, yeah. Do you think we need to be getting into every battle, or do you think we could probably skip some of these? I mean, the boss fight wasn't so hard, right? The boss fight wasn't so hard, and yeah. I just don't know if that's because we've been doing most of the fights, so we were kind of at a good level. Or not, I don't know. Uh, but the game doesn't seem to be that difficult. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not like we have to go that far to get back to the professor's house yeah. anyway. But the game is... is um, in terms of difficulty, I think the game is, is alright. It's a, I think it's the perfect difficulty for you to, like... Like, if you just want a game to really chill out to. Mm -hmm. Just enjoy the story. Yeah, and... yeah, to just enjoy the story. Not really worry about... Um, I think we got back attack. That was my bad. I ran in front of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, but this is a perfect game if you just want to enjoy a story. Like, maybe you're brand new to gaming. I don't know. Like, this could be your first RPG. Could be. Wow, he is not doing any damage to Isaac. Yeah, that's true. He's a machine, literally. What was your first RPG? My first one? That, like, I played by myself? Yeah. Oh, it's probably Super Mario RPG. You know what? I think it might have been mine, too. Yeah. That was a good game. Yeah, I actually never owned it. I actually just, I had Me to, neither! I kept renting it. <laughs> Me yeah. too. Yeah. I would really like that RPG. Um, so I kept renting it. I never Me too. got to buy it. And it kind of had a limited run. So I never really got to own it. And I 
still don't own a physical. Do we own a physical copy? I'm pretty sure we have one now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I just kept collecting yeah. a bunch of shit and couldn't stop. But, you know, thankfully, you know, we live in an age where there's a lot of digital distribution. So we, we own it. Like, I bought it on the Wii Virtual Console when it came out, like, in 2007 oh, yeah. or something. Me too, I think. Um, it's one of the games that's on the Super Famicom Classic. Yep. We also have a Retro Freak. So right. we can play, like, anything on that. My favorite part about Super Mario RPG, which is really sad and so childish, was the part where you work at the suite. <laughs> where you work where? At the suite in the hotel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why, I just love that so much. I was like, if they made a game about Mario working at a hotel, <laughs> I'd play the shit out of it. I feel like there is one. It's like an edutainment game. What? I think. Where Mario works at a hotel? Yeah, or maybe I'm just getting one of them confused. There's like, um, well, there's a bunch of Mario like edutainment games. Uh huh. I just don't remember what they all are right now. They like, they like teach you typing and history and stuff like that. Like Mario's Time Machine. Do you remember that? Uh, I don't know if I played that. Um, I haven't played it either. I just watch people play it. But that's one of the like edutainment ones. Hmm. Where you go back in time and learn about history through Mario's time oh, machine. Wait, maybe I have seen that somewhere before. It's ringing a few bells, but I don't think I played it myself. I, I never did either. I think it might have been installed on one of my uh, one of the computers at school. Oh yeah, might have right. been that. Uh, professor, how's this? Oh, um, looks like you got some materials. Just as I would figure from the daughter of truth. Uh, and the, uh, workshop boy. <laughs> um... Alright. Just wait here, I'm gonna... This will be over soon. Alright, Isaac. Over here. Uh, Understood. Take these materials, and do this, and some of that. That doesn't sound good. Don't kill Isaac. He's <laughs> like, oh shit, Isaac. There are just dots. Who knows what's happening? He might never be the same. How good is this? There same? we go. We're all done. I just, I don't what? really know what I'm looking at, but okay. So like, Isaac now has um a junk. <laughs> oh my god, dimension traversing like part. <laughs> wow. Um, I was a little worried because it was kind of made with just some materials that are just thrown together. Well, I'm sure it's fine. Wait, is it really fine? I mean, at a first glance, Isaac seems to be exactly the same. It's fine, believe me. Alright, first... We do a test. Hmm. Let's try. Um, like, while we, like, can you get, oh, sorry, I'm having a bad time translating. Uh, try to travel 30 seconds from now. 30 seconds back, I guess, from now? I don't know. Um, why, like, you, you were supposed to go back in the past. Why would the test be 30 seconds from now? Oh, I see. Yeah, that's how he said it. Huh. Good question, young girl. Um, after you go back to the past, how do you suppose to come back? If a time machine can't go into the future, you wouldn't be able to return to the year 2000, January 1st. Ah, now that you mention it, I guess that does make sense. Uh... Isaac is all ready to go, so I'm counting on you, young man, young girl. <laughs> young man. Young man, young lady. Uh, I got it. Isaac, are you ready? Wow, she got on board real quick. Uh, hold on tight. Uh, we don't know what will happen. <laughs> it's like, even I don't know what's going to what, happen. What will happen, yeah. Is it, is it really okay?
Are we gonna get a cutscene? Yeah, I mean, this. The, well, I guess this whole thing is a cutscene. The scene. game has been pretty much all story <laughs> right now. Oh my god. His heart is glowing. He is. They're not holding on. Yeah, they're not holding on to him at all. <laughs> he's becoming a Super Saiyan. He looks like he's just gonna rock it away. <laughs> oh, he's. <laughs> uh, and they're all dead. Yeah, he exploded. <laughs> and he's laughing. He's laughing manically. He's like, yeah, that's creepy. He's like, I did it. I tricked them. He looks green. Uh, this is. I wish they just used the Chrono Trigger. Yeah, this really looks like the Chrono the Trigger, Chrono Trigger the time, time travel thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It even kind of sounds like it. Wait, actually. So Isaac's going to the past or the future. Sorry. But I thought it was 30 seconds. And the, where are the rest of, like, where is, where is Sherry and... I don't Kevin? know. It was just Isaac, right? Maybe they get separated? Maybe, I don't... <laughs> kind of like Chrono Trigger? Oh, that would suck. It's all, it's all based on Chrono Trigger. I've got it. Chapter 5, here we are. Hmm. De Interesting. I... Like, meeting? Paker and Slice? Couldn't they have just called it Baker and Slice? Yeah, I don't know what a Paker is. Yeah, they might edit that for the English. So there's a bunch of these uh, enemies. Like, the, there's just TVs and, and the flying things. They're But they're, like, peacefully coexisting, it seems like. Yeah. Or no one's noticing them? I don't know. Maybe they're invisible. Okay, they're fine, apparently. All right. Yeah, looks like I guess we, we made it. Um, Before we continue, though, let's take a super quick break. I'm not going to leave you hanging. We'll continue. Um... From here, I'm not going to advance the text or anything. So if you don't want to miss the next part, keep it on the channel. It will be up really soon. Let me know what you thought. Leave a comment down below. You can follow me on Twitter if you want. You'll find a link to my profile in the description. And if you want something else to watch, you can feel free to head on over to the channel and just find another video to enjoy. If you like Japanese games, it's all Japanese games. So there'll be something good, hopefully. Uh, as always, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you again. Take care. See you.